Good morning, I'm Jane Whitaker, Head of Collections. And I'm Howard Coots, Curator. And we're here this morning to celebrate the 150th anniversary to the day of the laying of the foundation stone of the Bose Museum. The museum was founded in France in the 19th century by John Bose, last member of the ancient Bose family of County Durham. But it's very much the vision of his wife, Josephine Bose. And in 1862, the couple sold their country house just outside Paris and used the money to buy parcels of land in Barnard Castle on which to build the museum. John Bowes commissioned a French architect, Jules Pellachet, to do the design drawings for the Bowes Museum and bought the museum showcases from the Paris exhibitions of 1867 and 1878. And today these very showcases are filled with Josephine's exquisite collection of porcelain and ceramics. John Bowes sent the design drawings to a Newcastle architect, Watson, who had to translate them into feet and inches, and got the stone for the museum from his own personal stone quarry, the Dunhouse Quarry, which still exists a few miles up the dale. And in November 1869, Josephine Bowes laid the foundation stone, saying, I lay the bottom stone, and you, Mr Bowes, will lay the top stone. Sadly, the museum didn't actually open until 1892, uh, uh, shortly after both their deaths. The trowel has an inscription on it, which reads, On Saturday, the 27th of November, 1869, this trowel was used by Josephine Benoit, Countess of Montalvo, wife of John Bowes of Streetland Castle, Esquire, in placing the first stone of the museum. The bill for the trial has actually been found by one of our team of talented volunteers in the county record office and it states that the trial itself cost £5.18 shillings and the engraving on it cost an additional 13 shillings and sixpence. That's nearly 70 pence. And that's not all. Our volunteer also found a bill which stated that it, following the ceremony, um, the, the party retired to the King's Head in Barnard Castle and consumed four bottles of champagne. So, it sounds like, despite the bleak November weather, they all had quite a nice time. Yes. Little did they know that when they tried to return to Paris in December, a few weeks later, they were prevented from doing so because of an outbreak of smallpox in the city, and following that, the outbreak of the Franco-Prussian War. So, John and Josephine did not actually see their home in Paris for another 18 months. But thankfully, their collections in Paris survived intact, and Josephine Bowes continued collecting right up to her death in 1874. John Bowes died in 1885. Mm -hmm. And so, in fact, the Bowes Museum has been open for over 125 years, and we hope you'll come and visit us and share John and Josephine Bowes' amazing vision.